guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we're doing my Mermaid Marathon TBR. In case you missed it, I announced the dates for Mermaid Marathon. They're running June 29th through July 5th. I'll link the announcement video up here in the cards. So you can click that little I. It'll bring down a drop down menu and you can go and check out the announcement dates. I am very, very excited. We all could use a little distraction right now, a little bit of happiness, a little bit of silliness and a little bit of magic. So I'm going to be talking about the books that I plan to be reading for Mermaid Marathon. I'm not going to be talking about all of them. I'll kind of save that for the vlog, vlog that I plan on doing, but we're going to talk about some of them as well as some of the challenges. So pretty much all the challenges kind of work for all of the books. I kind of set it up that way on purpose so that you don't have to read five books to create five challenges, but you have the option to if you want to. So first up is to read a book set at sea, and I'm reading The Girl from Everywhere by Heidi Helig. I can't decide if I'm doing this on audio or physically reading. There aren't actually mermaids in this one. I think it's just like a time travel, possibly pi piratey read, but it's an ocean themed book. Very excited. It's actually kind of hard to find mermaid and oceany themed books that I haven't read via audiobook. There's not that many left that I need to get to that I can find on audiobook. So I might save this one for audio. We're gonna have to see how the narrator is. Next up is to read a book about a transformation. Again, I'm pretty sure at some point somebody's turning into a mermaid or not turning into a mermaid in all of these books. I am gonna get to Wake by Amanda Hawking. This is a mermaid quartet series about vicious mermaids that kill young boys. I've heard very mixed reviews, so I want to read this one to see if I want to keep the whole series or not. Um, and kind of just like carry on. It's been on my TBR for a very, very long time. So I'd like to at least get to this first book. The next challenge is to read a book by the water. So I can do that with any of these. So skipping on to challenge number four is to read a retelling. For that one, I'm choosing Dark Tides, a Wicked Fairy Tale book one by J.J. Marshall. This is actually by a new friend of mine and it's self-published and is a Little Mermaid retelling. It's very short, which is perfect. It's new adult, I believe. So it's a little bit darker and a little bit sexier than some of the other mermaid books that I've read. Very excited, it has a beautiful cover. I will link down below where you guys can find this one. If you're interested, it's kind of the unofficial read of the Mermaid Marathon. I did a giveaway with this one as well. Very pumped and hope I like it. And the last challenge is to read a book with the ocean on the cover. Again, all these apply, but I'm gonna read The Seafarer's Kiss. This again is a Little Mermaid retelling, but I think it has more of like an Icelandic twist to it. I could be wrong on that. I think this has a female-female romance. I'm not sure because I haven't read it yet. I've heard mixed reviews about it. There are two in the series. Again, short, great for a readathon, and I'm excited to try it out. So I will probably get to more than that, hopefully. <laughs> Quite a few audiobooks in mind as well that I'll talk about in my Mermaid Marathon vlog, and I've got lots of recommendations and things for you guys. I'll link up here in the cards as well if you want some more ideas on things to read or things I've already read that I've liked. Let me know what you guys are reading down below in the comments and if you are participating in the readathon because I would love to have you and love to see you. Definitely let me know if you're vlogging because I'd love to watch your vlogs and I'll see you guys next time on the bright side. Bye!